Hello and welcome to today's video and is it worth it? The Aldrich Omens box. Now, the more I've looked at this box, the more I've been kind of against it. The more I've thought like, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it anymore. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the Elder. And did you know what? Chaos are pretty cool too. And in the box you get, it's only a very short amount. I mean, it's only 3, 4, 14, 15, 16 models compared to other boxes, you know. We... It's quite low. You do get a big monster in it, which is pretty cool. The Fiend is a nice big model. And of course, you get your. So, what do I think? Well, first, let's go through what I put out the prices. Now, I took the Autark at £25, the same price as Jane Sar. I did these at thirty-two fifty, the new price of the Howling Banshees. These is 30 as the same as the Windrunners. I did him twenty three fifty, the same price as the Tech Marine. I did these as 35 uh, same price as a death as the terminators chaos okay, terminator is 45 pound because this one is 45 pound and that's it so altogether it makes a 66 pound saving but when i look at it there is some things that come into mind now first things first i do like when you all talk there's lots of bits for this but the out the rangers and the bikes and yeah bikes you can kind of get away with it they are a vehicle so you're not expecting a vast choice of pieces for it but as for the rangers i would like to see so much more the chosen are a little bit more multi-part and the you know the warp smith really isn't now here's the thing i want the, these look pretty cool i like the combi here because that's pretty cool having a combi weapon you know and you know this is eased into a chaplain or you know a but these do remind me of the old Dark Vengeance box as well, which was really cool. Now here we go, see this is the uh, Dark one, it's pretty cool. As I said, you've got several heads, you have several, so this is what I mean, like you have your missile launcher, you have your, I believe that's your fusion gun, your spinner, your chain sword, two choices of heads, your cloak, star glaive, back banner, backpack, and if Warp Spider one here, you have that, you have that, you know, Warp Spidery. And you have choice of two torches, male and female as well. It's really cool. Anyway, and if you look at the Warp Smith, he's a Warp Smith, you're not going to expect much else, are you? I've, there you go, you've got your plasma pistol there. And next, if you look at the jet bike, see, here's a jet bike. You have just the jet bike and the two outcasts on the back. It's of heavy weapon to go underneath it. Here's your. It looks like a uh, scatter, scatter gun. You only get the one choice, unlike the Wind Riders, where you get the two choice of two. You know, you can have a choice of three, actually. I should say you have a star cannon, a star sky laser, a shuriken catapult, and a shuriken cannon. So, yeah, I mean, maybe just a jet bike. Doesn't impress me that much, as well as, you know, the very monoposed vehicles. Now, if we look at the, again, very much the same thing. I don't know what these are. I mean, they look cool, but I don't know. I don't know if this makes me sound like, oh my god, he's so old. But I do prefer the line cast ones. They had a more of an outcast feel to them. They more felt like they were rangers out there. They had their backpacks on, you know. They had, they were they look exposed for the sake of having heroic poses more than anything else, rather than actually looking like they're doing their job. And that's it. I'm also my favourite. And it's got like when I back in fourth edition when I did a massive out army, my rangers just owned everyone with their you know with their automatic cover saving, cover save I should say. And here we go. And here's the chaos one. And you got some choices here. You know, multiple heads again, weapon choices. You know, it is what it is. But overall, I mean, and you got your transfer sheets as well. Anyway, but, and of course your book, Black Legion, as you're any Sam Hain, Sam Hain, yeah, but as it stands, I honestly, this would be one where I say, right, if you're looking to use to get this box, unless you're splitting it, honestly, don't really bother going to use this to, to go into the Elder Army or the Chaos Armies. They both have great start collecting boxes out already, and you're going to spend £10 less if you just got the two start collecting boxes and you'd have better forces from the get go. So let's say, right, like I said, you would have better forces with the 
Aldar, you would have the Farseer, you'd have the Wraith Blade, Wraith Guards, your Wraith Lord, and you'd have your War Walker. So you have two vehicles, an Elite, and your Farseer. And your Farseer is really easy to kit bash into an Autark too, so if you want an Autark as well. Especially with the new choices that the Autark can have, as you can see, makes it even better to choose from. And the Chaos one, you have your Lord of Possession, you have your two Great Possessed, two Obliterators, your Venom Spider and your 10 Chaos Base Means. Yes, they're all Monopose, but what are you really missing out on when you're still going to have Monopose here as well? You aren't losing out anything. If you're looking to start Evil Army, don't. I would honestly say not go with this box, even though the savings pretty good. The savings of a start collecting boxes are better. Straight away. You're saving more. And if you... Even if you can split this, honestly, just go with your start collectors first. This is a very, I think, I think this is very much lackluster and a bit of a letdown. And I'd probably wait if these came out on their own before I'd even think about purchasing them. I mean, the Autark, I'd always try and kit bash my own anyway. I've used things from a Solitaire to Farseers and all sorts to kit bash my own Autarks. And, you know, if these are having almost a £10 price tag increase, Again, that's quite a joke. I mean, the £7.50 one, if it's £30, yeah, okay. But if it's £32.50, like the Howling Banshees, something I'd definitely again skip. If these are more than £5 more than the Wind Winders at the moment, again, it would be a skip for me. I would just kit bash all the time. I would kit bash this, I'd kit bash these. I would save money just by kit bashing Guardians into these and Wind Winders into these. And that would be it. And same with the Chosen here. I like them. I do look like the Dark Vengeance ones. But at a push, if these are £35, I would spend £35 on a, ten, a box of 10 Chaos Space Marines and just kit bash them into Chosen. Or use a different one. Use like um, Death Guard. Or even Space Marines, normal Space Marines, and just kit bash them with new shoulder pads and stuff to make your Chosen. The point of this one is whether or not you're willing to spend the extra money. Now, £125, it is to me overpriced. It's £20 more than the Shadow Throne box, and the Shadow Throne box was far more impressive. You get a big model here, and you get all new models, but they aren't going to be new for long. They are going to be released on their own, and you're going to see them soon. Two things I'll come out of this. If you're going to look at this, if you're looking at this thinking, oh, I'm going to start collecting Aldar or Chaos, go with a start collecting or wait for the Combat Patrol boxes drop. Even before you think this, if you can split this with someone, split it. And if you really want the new models, get it. But other than that, I would. This is a skip for me. Um, yeah, I'm not excited. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. I hope you have a great. Oh, anyway, so I want to add this in quickly because I've got to do it in the video, and my recording equipment cut out. Also, I want to add that Neva Army is actually a legal army. In the Chaos one, you've got Elite and a Heavy Support and a HQ. And the Elder one is either Elite and a Fast Stack or two Elites and a HQ. Neither army is actually legal. So that's the other problem. Now, I mentioned the Star Collecting Boxes. Where this is a £60, £70 pound saving for the, the lot. There's not much of a saving each. It's just about £30 pound each. The Star Collecting Elder one is actually a £50 pound saving. So this is why I would always suggest going to start collecting boxes for both these armies first, because they're both a bigger saving, one at 55 and one at 60 pounds, they are a good kit. Yes, the other one isn't, isn't a legal one either, but you can easily add one more unit, where you're going to add at least two, or just a troop's choice, and it's going to cost you a lot more. Anyway, thank you for watching, I had to add this in quickly. Hope you guys have a good day, like, comment, subscribe as always, uh, links to Element Games for Wooden Planet, and my t-shirt and my comics are down below, as always, I hope you click on those. And if you wish to support me through Patreon, you can do that, but I honestly would prefer it if you did click on one of the other links first and actually get something for your money than just giving it to me. Anyway, that's just this bit needed to be added. Like I said, my recording equipment cut out, and I have to add this in volley and with the videos. Anyway, have a good day. Hope you enjoy your hobby.